Big Steve and head for the robot plane. I'm going to quarter. Circle and get back into position again. land there without cracking up. We'll have to return to Beechwood and send out a car to search the wreckage for the necklace. Are you all right, Junior? Sure. Gosh, that was exciting, Mr. Tracy. Yes, I'll say it was. If he doesn't crack up. <laughs> boy, oh boy, am I glad to see you. I thought you two were gone ashore that time. You and me both. From the sound of your motor, you came near not making it yourself. You're telling me, so I have to do plenty of work on that motor before I take off again. I want to get to that wreckage and plant the imitation necklace before the spider's men get there. Right, by the time you get back, I'll have this bus running. Oh, boy, I hope this radio works. Calling location three. Calling location three. <laughs> Your cat shows more intelligence than many humans, Moloch. Sometimes I'm tempted to try another experiment. And what is that? Transplanting the brain of a cat into a human. It would be even more interesting than the operation I performed on Gordon Tracy. Perhaps someday you can try that on his brother, Dick Tracy. He should make an even greater criminal. Well? Gordon Tracy is calling from the wing, sir. Stand by, Flying Wing. Go ahead, Gordon. Plane with the Mogra necklace crashed just off Kendall Road. Impossible to land. I'll await you here. You heard the location. Send a car there at once. The real necklace is in that plane. We have no use for this, Moloch. It's an imitation. It's worthless. It's 
Cheer up, Mike. You're letting your imagination run away with you. Well, it ain't imagination, Miss Gwen. He's dead. Junior's dead. I saw him. And I could see the robot plane had taken off. And little Junior was inside. He couldn't get out. And his little face was pushed up against the glass, looking at me and calling to me, calling for me. Mike McGurk, calling Mike McGurk. I can hear him just as plain. Well, no wonder. Now you can hear him even more plainly. Mike McGurk. Calling Mike McGurk. Hello? Hello, Mike. Mike, this is Junior. <laughs> I knew the little fella would be all right. I'm with Steve Lockwood, and we're grounded somewhere near Kendall Road. Yes, the engine went dead. And say, Mike. 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 Hey, Mr. Lockwood, the radio went dead. What, what's the matter? Junior? What? As what? soon as he gets his plane fixed. Why, something must be wrong. Hurry, Mike. Well, what, 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 We've got to find them. Phone the field. Tell them to have my ship ready. Come on. be the case the necklace was in. It must have fell out and burned up in the fire. We better go back and report. Fellas, you got your nerve, isn't it, Elmer? Well, he's not, he, he, no, he ain't one of them hot hoot 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 He's one of them hold-up guys. I'm not a hold-up guy. I'm anxious to follow that car. Will you step on it? Your car? No. Well, well if, it, if it ain't your, how can you lose it? I'm not interested in the car. It's the people in it. I want to see where they go, but I don't want them to see me. <laughs> His best gal's out of riding with another feller. <laughs> I wouldn't be a just dad blame bit surprised. You know, that's what Paul always said, you can't you can't trust a wise woman or, or a or a mule. There may be something in that, but will you keep that car in sight and step on it? Well, Paul said never pull her down past the third knot. But but boy, you asked for it, so get it out and grab your ass, boys. I'm really gonna send it out my skin of tears back.
There's a, there's the opening out in this Beachwood Hotel up there. They, they pulled in there. Doggone if I can see why they turned in there. Hotel's been closed for two months. Don't let them worry you, boys. Here's something for your trouble. It's one of them, it's one of them dad blamed dollars. We didn't find a thing, only this case. Then you didn't find the necklace. It must have been burned up in the fire. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I just twisted my foot a little. That's too bad. We must attend to it at once. It may be serious. Remove your boot. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Sit down. Hey, Remove his boot. Put the guitar on the left. <coughs> Your foot won't hurt any longer. No! No, not that! No! Take him away. I can't hear them anymore. Well, try a lower wavelength, Mike. Steve. Steve Lockwood. Well, is it still dead? It isn't just right yet, but I can hear someone. Well, keep trying. I'm at the spider's hangout. Mr. Lockwood! Mr. Lockwood! Here's Dick Tracy! What does he say? The boss is in trouble! You know, the old Beechwood Hotel. Beechwood Hotel? Where is that? Well, that's only a few miles from here. Strap on your safety belt, Junior. We're taking off for Beechwood Hotel. Get a squad of G-men and... Too late, Dick Tracy. Why were you so anxious to get this imitation? Or were you trying to be very clever and fool us? I not only tried, I did fool you. A lot of good it did you. I wouldn't be too sure of that. Nitroglycerin, gentlemen. All right, stick them up. 
It's all right, Mike. They won't move. Drop that gun. I'll take that necklace now. Go ahead, blow us up now and kill him too. All right. I will. Oh. Castor oil. Give me that gun. Get the plane started. I'll stall them long enough for you to get there. It's our only chance. Around this way, Manny. Around the house. 